Hello and welcome to a brief overview of the Money Ledger program for real estate agents. In this video, you'll see how easy it is to keep track of your business and personal expenses and your revenue. Let's take a brief look at the screens and enter a few transactions. The screen you're looking at now is a monthly screen. And at the top left, you can see that this is the month of January. And at the bottom, you can see you can click between the different screen tabs to go to that month. On the left side of the screen is where you enter in your transactions. On the right side of the screen you see a summary statement with all the categories both personal and business and the totals will calculate as you enter in your transactions automatically. Scrolling to the right you're going to see another summary statement and this is a business only summary statement which you can easily print using the print buttons for your accountant or bookkeeper for your month or year ends. Scrolling down the screen, you can see the different payment types and the totals for every payment type that you used during the month. Below that, you have a reconciliation report. And here, you can, when you get your bank statements, you can easily reconcile the items with the program transactions. Next, we have the setup screen. And in the setup screen, you can set up all the different expense categories you would like. And to the right of the categories, you can set up different splits. For example, on the automotive expense category, you're, we are saying here that the business portion of that expense will be 85% and personal will be 15%. And that split will happen when you choose the split class when you enter in your transaction. And I'll give you an example of that later. It's the same with home office expenses. When you have a heat bill and you want to split that heat bill between business and personal, you simply enter in the ratios here. So in this example, we have the heat bill is 15% business and 85% personal. We also can set up different years so you can copy the program from one year to the next very easily. And we have all the different payment types so you can put in all the different bank accounts or credit card names that you would like for it to track. To the left of the category column is another column which is items to appear on your business financial statement. And in this column, you simply check or uncheck the items, or the category items, that you wish to have appear on a business-only financial statement. Once you've set up your program in this screen, you simply save it and you're good to go. And finally, we have the year-to-date screen. Here we have several summary reports. On the far left, we have a summary report of the year-to-date totals of all the business-only categories. Next to that, we have another report which tracks everything year to date for all items, personal and business. And further to the right, we have four quarterly reports. That are, and these reports and summaries are all populated automatically as you enter in your transactions. Let's enter in a few entries. So 11th of January, we have a check and it's business, income, and we can say this one's commission for 123 Smith Street, 3250. Okay, and you're done. On the right hand side, you can see that the income is being recorded for you. Let's do another item, this time an expense. 14th of January, we have a visa, and let's do a split on an automotive expense which would be, let's say, a gas purchase, $65. Okay, now, on the right-hand side, you can see what happened to that split. On the summary statement, it took the $65 total, put $55.25 into business, and $9.75 into personal, which is the 85% to 15% split that we had in our setup screen. And when we scroll further to the right, you can see that a business only expense statement is being populated with only the business portion of the expense. At the bottom, we can see we have two unreconciled transactions. And we can see that so far we spent $65 on our Visa card. We then reconcile these items by checking here. And you can see that there's only one remaining. And your year to date summary total is being calculated and you're done. Thanks for tuning in.